Hi, I'm Dr. Karen Osborne from Synergy Family Wellness Center, and this is Kai. Actually, this is my boy, six and a half weeks old. Can you see his head? There he goes. He's actually in my uh, wrap right now. This is kind of the only way I can do video blog and keep him calm. So, working mom, here we go. So, we're going to talk today about purpose. So, I'm actually doing a program, and actually myself and Dr. Ed, um, just called Freedom Fast Track. It's a financial program, but it really talking about this concept of sole purpose. So, we'll just talk for the sake of simplicity about purpose. So, what is purpose really? Well, you know, I, I think we have to take a step back and just take a look or ask yourself the question, why are we here? What is our, our what is the legacy we want to leave when we're actually gone? Um, and is it something that's predetermined? Is it destiny? Is it fate? Is it when people say everything happens for a reason? It's just the way it is. Or is it maybe possible that we can actually design our life, that we can really create the life that we want to live? And I'm going to suggest to you that we absolutely can. I think that, you know, whether you think you have purpose or not, you have one. So he'll give you an example. Perhaps your purpose is just to get through the day. Okay, maybe your purpose is to get to the weekend, the next vacation. Maybe your purpose is to be a good mom or a good dad or to work like crazy and uh, put lots of money aside so you can retire and then live, actually live the good life. So those are, I think those are good starting points to take a look at. But I think when it comes to purpose, what we need to really understand is purpose isn't what about isn't so much about what we do, but it's really who we are. It's our why for really being here on the planet. So my my why, my purpose is to inspire and is motivate as many people as possible to step up and what I like to refer to as step into their greatness. So I know this is going to sound really funny, but you know what? My purpose is not to be a chiropractor. My purpose is actually not to be a mom either. It just so happens that those are two ways that I'm actually really able to express my purpose. So, you know, for me, helping to inspire, motivate two amazing boys that we're raising to be extraordinary, to be great in life. And we do that every day in practice um, as chiropractors, even through things like these video blogs or posts you might see on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest. So how do you really discover this purpose? I think is the next question that might be coming to mind for you. And just understand, and it's a process. It's not going to happen from watching this five-minute video. It's not going to happen by reading one book or journaling for one day, okay? It's going to really be something that happens over time. So what I thought I'd do is to give you three really simple steps to help you really discover, well, what is your purpose in life? So let's talk, start with the first one. First one is a morning power hour. Now, just know that most successful people have a ritual similar to this. So this is when you're going to spend one hour, yes, I know, one hour every single morning to set the tone for your day and to really stay on track with that purpose. Whether or not you know or not, or yet, you need to start investing in yourself. So three parts of that, body, mind, spirit, to make it really simple. So the body parts, you're going to spend the first 20 minutes of your hour, power hour, doing some kind of movement. Maybe it's yoga. Maybe it's uh, going for a walk with with your dogs, maybe it's doing some of the mobility work that we teach with Move by Design. Um, could be anything you want to really just to move your body for the first 20 minutes. The next part of that then is mine. So you're going to spend 20 minutes either doing some reading, you're going to be um, maybe listening to podcasts, something that's really going to feed your brain and feed your mind. And the last part is spirit. So that could be spent uh, 20 minutes in meditation, it could be journaling, it could be maybe if you're religious, it could be in prayer, just some kind of, uh, you know, stillness, if you will, that's going to happen during that time. So, you know, this is something that I've kind of dabbled with a little bit, kind of here and there, to be honest with you, and I haven't fully committed. So this is my accountability now. I'm going to tell you, starting next week, I'll be fully committed to every single day. Now I have two mornings that I'm already up at 4.30, so I'm going to get up at four of those mornings and do a condensed 30 minute power hour it's just a little different have a newborn right now but really to commit to this to start on that that search that path to finding your purpose okay here's the second one this one's actually been really fun and i've done this recently as part of this program so you're going to email or facebook message or ask maybe 10 to 15 friends family people that know you really well maybe it could be a co-worker to have them list your top five attributes so what are you what are your top five characteristics or things that you're really good at now what's interesting is sometimes we don't really Really understand how others perceive us we might be really hard on ourselves I've been guilty of that at times for sure and we don't maybe see what others might see within us so do this exercise you'll it's really cool because people will get back to you almost immediately they're very very happy to to kind of do this and to give you that feedback and to really let those people be your mirror to help maybe get better understand who you are and what you're really good at your top five attributes in life 
And then the last one is to really figure out your core values. Now we go through a lot of this in Think by Design, um, but I'm going to kind of make it a really simple exercise. I'm going to link on this blog um, a website which lists, I think it's the top 100 values. And so you're going to go through that list. You're going to check off ones that resonate with you. So if you say honesty and go, wow, that's really important to me in my life, you're going to ch check off honesty. Maybe you see integrity next. Go integrity is really important. I'm going to check that off. So you're going to go through the list. Don't censor. Just kind of go through and then take a look at that list afterwards and really hone it down to those top five to seven core values. You know, things that really are important, your priorities within life. So I'm going to share with you one of, actually, I'm going to share with you, yeah, one of my top core personal values. So this is something that I created at the beginning of this year. And so once you have those top five to seven core values, attach a sentence to that that really describes that. So I'll give you an example. So my top core value is family, my personal life. So what I have for this is my family is the most precious asset in my life. I prioritize to spend quality time with my family every day and know that being a mom and a wife is everything to me. So, you know, when you now have these core values, this really not only helps you in your purpose, but is that map and everything that you do in life, you're going to go back to those core values. So I know this is a, this is a quick little kind of Coles Cliff Notes version, if you will, of discovering purpose, but at least maybe this gives you three steps to really start the process and give you lots of links afterwards. Um, have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing your comments on the blog. You can email me. I'll put my emails while on this blog and let me know how this process is going, and if you've any questions along the way. So again, till then, have an awesome day. Look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.